feel this way forever. I'm Tyron Miss Jackson. Some space here, and they're able to get this one across the 35. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm, they had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. They go play action here on first down, flushed out right. They find Randall Cobb on the completion. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. So here we go, first and 10 now. They'll run for the first time with Lacey. Eddie Lacey, see you later. Touchdown, Packers. Eddie Lacy. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. On second down, Lacey. And some room to work. Powers of Eddie Lacey. See you later. Touchdown, Packers. Lacey with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Packers. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> if you love pressure, we'll, I love we'll it. see if they dial it up this drive. Oh, the spin. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. While we know that the identity of this offense is to throw the ball, they've got to run it every so often, if for no other reason than to tamp down the pass rush. They can't let them just tee off and get to their quarterback. Escaping the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. Still staying on his feet. Are you serious? Touchdown, Packers. Randall Cobb, 55 yards. And the Packers add on. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? <laughs> and they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. Aaron Rodgers. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. And now the Packers get set to go. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Flush to his right. And he goes out of 
bounds across the 40-yard line. That one good for 16. Of the Drive will continue. So the rep takes a peek. After a human play, the running out of the field stands. Go, Byron! Go, 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 They go play action for Lacey. Now Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. They were ready for what the defense was showing. They had prepared for that look, recognized it, went straight to the air, got the first. Well done. Love the recognition because you can prepare for everything. You can watch the tape and put together your game plan, but you still have to understand what they're doing in terms of what they're showing and be able to... And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. And partner, Sia... After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Throwing now is Rodgers. Flushed out right. Ooh, with a juke. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Wow, incredible. Missed, miss. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him, and he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. Now Lacey. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. Eddie Lacey, see you later. Touchdown, Packers. Eddie Lacey. Drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Off the play fake to Lacey. Here's Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's second down. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? Flush to his right, and some room to maneuver. Look at the spin. Balance. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Rodgers on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Packers are pouring it. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. One back is Lacey. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Packers. Randall. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory, but also what they were saying is, don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustments. Let's see what they do, and we'll attack accordingly. And we'll see how they attack here. Hurry up, hurry up. Check, check. Lucky, lucky. They stay on the ground. This time it's Lacey. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. Down inside the 35 to the 34. Rashad Breland, the one that got him down. Eight yards to go here on second down. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. 
You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation. Touchdown, Packers! Randall Cobb with an unbelievable fifth touchdown of the game. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Flushed out right. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Randall Cobb. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Packers. Randall Cobb setting the NFL mark with his seventh. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. One back is Lacey. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Oh, oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. He got 29 yards that time. Remember how much we enjoyed watching him last week? It's the same thing it's this week. Look same. at those numbers. <laughs> I'd hate to be a defender right now because no matter what they're throwing at him in terms of coverages, he's finding ways to defeat it. And even when he's covered, he's not covered. Hey, what is he doing? He's un what, what's that term they use? He's uncovering and making, <laughs> making big catches. Really fun to watch. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. And that one results in 35 yards. Of course we think of Aaron Rodgers as a pocket passer. But you and I both know this guy's a pure athlete. He can get outside. Back now at FedEx Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now a play fake here on first down. Forced out to his left. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be second and goal. It's Rodgers. Steps away. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. May have called the time for me. When Eddie Lacy came out of college, I thought he'd be a good player, but I didn't know he'd have this kind of an impact on the game. As he goes, so goes his offense, and they're winning the game as a result. I was going to say, they're both going pretty well right now, thanks to Mr. Lacy. Flush to his right. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal, and he would run seven-on-seven seven drills. 
angry if the ball ever hit the ground and it didn't do it very often. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. On play five. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown. drop you into the start of this next possession the score seven nothing and green bay getting ready to go as they take the field good drive last time really effective passing the football do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit i would anticipate the defense making some changes but i wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction they're doing so well throwing the ball yeah why well, well, i wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so one back is lacy they go play action here on first down flushed out right and he's got some space here Whoosh. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. They come into enemy territory, and I don't care what the matchup is in the National Football League. You're up like this late in the game on the road. This feels pretty good. Oh, it feels fantastic. Anytime you get a road victory in the NFL, that's a big-time accomplishment. And to do it this convincingly, that just tears up the script that every home team has, which is nobody comes into our house and pushes us around. They took care of business today. Yeah, they pushed around, and now the final stages of this one. Oh, he slipped right by him. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big play there on the keeper. 33 yards. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. Rodgers going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. Randall Cobb can truly do it all. He can hurt you in the return game. And we've seen that. Yeah, without a doubt. We know that he hurt you as a receiver. But they can use him in so many different roles, similar to what he did growing up in Alcoa, Tennessee. But then he went to Kentucky. He went, went to Kentucky because the Tennessee ball. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt. The Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.